Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall crank telephone, a Stromberg and Carlson. And this is Johnny's equipment from Florida. And this is a really cool telephone. Now, this is the initial checkout of this unit. And we're going to go through a little bit about what needs to be done. We're going to be installing a keypad in the battery box area. He wants to be able to dial out with this unit. We also want to replace the receiver capsule cord. It's been on the telephone a very long time. It's brittle and it is bad. And we're going to replace it with a black rubber cord. We're going to keep the look of the telephone because it's been like this for a long time. We're going to try to utilize the receiver capsule. If it's good and it troubleshoots to be good, then we're going to go ahead and use it if it's loud enough and there's enough volume. If not, we will upgrade the receiver capsule on the inside. Now we're also going to upgrade the transmitter. We need to work on the solenoids and the bells. The bells are touching the door right now and they are not supposed to be. So we have to look at that situation and go through and troubleshoot and make our repairs. Now I know that the video probably cannot pick it up, but the lightning arrestor at the top of the cathedral of the telephone it does look like there's an indication that this telephone was hit by lightning at some point. The teeth in the lightning arrestor on the inside on both sides have little metal drips where the teeth are. So it does look like it was hit by lightning at some point. We also need to go through the magneto. We know that the magneto is not producing voltage at this time. So we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot the magneto and then we'll make our repair. We're going to go through the hook switch. We need to wire this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We also want to install a modular port so that you can simply bring in any length line cord, any color that you choose, plug right into the modular port, makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We also want to install a circuit that we design here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone, crank the magneto, ring the original bells, but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line. And yet when you get a call, the original bells will ring. We're going to go ahead and do some still pictures of this telephone.
We have a lot of work that we need to start. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool wooden wall crank telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now we also want to run through a little bit about what went on with this unit. We went ahead and replaced our receiver cord. We troubleshooted the receiver capsule. That turned out to be bad, so the receiver capsule was upgraded. We also upgraded the transmitter. We design and build an electronic amplified transmitter here at the shop, and it has a high quality transmit power. It's almost like talking on a speakerphone. In the old days, you would have had to get right up on the spit cup and talk into this telephone, and you don't have to do that any longer with the electronic amplified transmitter. You can stand back away from it. It's almost like a speakerphone. It has a very high quality transmit power. We also went through the bells. They had to be remounted, properly adjusted. We went through the solenoids. That was all taken care of. They were on the wood door when the unit came in, and that was not proper. We also went through the magneto. That was troubleshooted and repaired. We rewired this unit the way we wanted it wired to work the way we wanted it to work. We also installed a modular port so that you can simply bring in any color, any length line cord that you choose, bring it right into the back of the telephone and plug it right into the modular port. Makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We went through the hook switch. That was cleaned and adjusted. We also installed a keypad in the battery box area of this telephone. We designed a circuit that allows you to walk up to this telephone, crank the magneto, ring the original bells, but yet not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line. And when you get a call, the original bells will ring. So that circuit was installed. We located the hardware to install the transmitter neck to the door of the telephone. When it came in, there was no hardware to install that. We also added wiring to this unit and we went ahead and took care of that situation. We installed some brass eyelets in the mounting holes on the backboard of this unit because that's what it would have had in the day when it came out from the factory. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and use the crank and we'll crank the magneto and ring the original bells. We can use the analyzer and send a ring cycle and the original bells will ring, so we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now normally we would use an amplified pickup, but since the electronic amplified transmitter is so sensitive, it will cause feedback with the amplifier. I'm going to go ahead and hit the hook switch. 
that will cause dial tone to go away. Now I'm going to go ahead and transmit. If you see this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. I'm pretty far back away from this telephone and it's picking up my modulation. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <whistles> hello, hello. So we know it has plenty of transmit power and you won't have to get right up on the spit cup to talk into this telephone and people will hear you. We can go ahead and hang our receiver up. Now what we can do is make a call with this telephone. We'll call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and open up the door. Now that we have our door open and we can make a telephone call with this unit, we'll go ahead and press the button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. We'll make that call. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd. The time is 12.04. Current temperature 42 degrees. Sunny today. Then becoming partly cloudy highs around 50. Partly cloudy this evening. Most in the lower 30s. Partly sunny Tuesday. Then mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 50s. We can hang our unit up. We'll call another number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Make that call. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool Stromberg & Carlson wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Johnny and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.